now coming on to valuation for an MBS security and we'll study the simulation approach because as compared to an analytical technique a Monte Carlo simulation is something which is much more preferred and the idea behind using simulation is we are trying to factor in the prepayment option which is embedded in MBS products so I'm sure most of you will be familiar with Monte Carlo simulation but uh, in a nutshell what we are trying to do is we are trying to simulate multiple paths over over the horizon and we treat each of these paths one two three up till n separately so we can imagine these are like a simulated interstate paths and we are going to use each of these n paths in order to value the security so we can imagine there are n scenarios and in every scenario we are trying to do a, a valuation exercise finally we are going to average all of these paths to come up with a value for an mbs security now to understand the steps which are done for a monte carlo simulation so we'll divide them into the below sections. So firstly, simulation of random interstate paths. So as I've shown on the diagram, we have these individual paths which are being generated. So there is a certain approach which is followed. So the very first thing which has to be done is to select an appropriate interstate model. Now, again, this is a very important choice because choosing the right rates model is important because if the interstate model which has been chosen is not appropriate, it may impact the final valuation. So, so that way, selection of the right interstate model is a very, very critical step. Next is the appropriate use of volatility to be used. Now, how much is the volatility to be used? That is something which needs to go into the model because when we are talking of an interstate model, we have a stochastic differential equation which we are working at. So we could have something like dr equal to something into dt plus something into dw. So maybe I could have an a and b here. So what I choose as A and B, so A is the drift and B is the diffusion as we call it. So based on the choice of A and B, my interstate model is uh, going to differ. So that way choosing the appropriate volatility in this relation is very, very important. Also defining a relationship between the refinancing rate and the short term interstate is the key because we know that refinancing rate is related to the idea of prepayments. So this kind of relationship needs to be uh, stated as well. Now, uh, as a part of this step, we are going to simulate the interstate path over the entire security's life. Now, if it's a new MBS security, then we do it up to 30 years. And we can imagine that we have one path which is given to us and that path we are going to split into individual parts or individual sections. And every section or every time step, as we call it, is corresponding to one month time period and we are going to generate n such paths as i've shown in the diagram so a similar exercise gets applied n number of times so we have n number of paths which are being generated again uh, these are the things which uh, many times we do via parallel processing or parallel computing as we call it because there are there are various ways to optimize this so parallel computing happens to be one of the approaches so this can be easily done through a Python or uh, any other scripting tool as well, which supports parallel processing. The part B of the calculation is generation of cash flow vectors, which are implied by the interstate paths. Now we require a cash flow vector because finally we are calculating the valuation for the MPS, right? So we need to know the cash flows. Only when we know the cash flows will we, will we be able to present value those cash flows. And once we have the present values of the individual cash flow or the cash flow matrix, then we can calculate the valuation for the MPS. So the next step is generation of cash flow vectors. Now each month's cash flow is a sum of three components. We have the scheduled principal, unscheduled principal, and the interest payments. Now selection of the correct prepayment model will definitely have an impact on the computation of this step because we know that the idea of prepayment gets related with the unscheduled principal payments which happen on an MBS security. So choosing the right prepayment model is the key that will decide what is the kind of unscheduled principle which we are using in the calculation. Now each interstate path implies a cash flow vector and a full simulation of the entire interstate path will give us a cash flow matrix. So essentially in step B we are trying to calculate cash flows for each of the paths. The next step is calculating the present value of this cash flow because we are interested in the MTM valuation of MBS. That is, we are interested in the fair value or the present value of the MBS security. So that's why PV of each path is required. So we calculate 
the present value of every single cash flow vector which you have calculated in this entire simulation exercise. Now the way to do that is we can use spot rates in the calculation. Now naturally spot rates are related with the idea of forward rates as well. So something which we have shown through a simple relationship. So we have ZTN which we are calling as the spot rate for month T on a path N. And we have these individual FIs which are the future one month forward rates. Now that is something which helps us in the overall calculation. So this happens to be like a discount factor which we can use in our calculation. Now, once the discount factor is available, then we can use it for calculating the present valuation. So that gives us to the next step, which is computing the present value for every single path. Now, for every path, we have n points because we know that we are trying to divide every path on a month basis. That is, every time step is uh, one month. So we have n number of such time steps. Now, PVs of these cash flows are summed up to arrive at the present value for the full path. So we can imagine that we have one single path and we had we are dividing that into individual sections and then we are evaluating the present value of every section and we are summing them up together so that's what we show as this relation so this is the pv of each cash flow so pv city of n and then we calculate the pv of the entire path which is honestly just a summation of the present values of individual paths so we have a ct of n which we have kept here generic. So we could write it as PVs of the sum of C1 and C2N and so on up till C360 as we have shown here. So this will give the PV of the entire, entire, entire path, I would say. Next is estimating the value of the security. Now we have done this for one path. So we'll have to do this for every path. Now, how many the number of paths we choose that depends on the model which we are looking at. So that's like a discretion for the modeler. So the quant modeler needs to decide uh, how many number of paths they want based on the optimization and the accuracy which is required for their calculations. But the calculation remains similar. We have done this for one path and we have the PVs for all the other paths as well. And we simply take the average of uh, this value. And this is going to give us the valuation or the PV or MTM of the MBS security. So this is one of the ways in which valuation of an MBS security happens. And in the market as well, the Monte Carlo simulation happens to be one of the most popular ways in which we value an MBS product.